And that's why you're all going to die. I can't explain it any better than that. Uh, hey, folks, uh, welcome to a special Sunday edition one shot. Uh, as you can tell, we have most of the Margu campaigners here uh sans two but we're gonna add one uh who has volunteered to step up in this one shot we'll see how sophia realizes how strange her family is or not after today uh folks uh this thing is entitled seal point we'll go ahead and get to the description here in just a second but first uh let's run through the franks and everybody else uh we'll start with senior senior who are you and who are you playing today please you're muted. <laughs> I'm Frank Senior, and I'm playing Buble Boot, and he is a dwarf druid. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, newest member of the cast, Sophia. Who are you, and who are you playing? Who are you? So I am Sophia. Sophia, <clears throat> and I am Gwendolyn. No. Gwendolyn, no. you are no. yeah, stout ale, so and you're playing barbarian dwarf. <laughs> playing and I'm playing a barbarian dwarf. Wow, it's great. Don't, don't worry, Sophia. All of your friends are seeing this. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, to all your friends. Don't. We will. We hopefully will. Oh, we'll send that to uh, Bearded Frank, who are you, and who are you playing today? I'm Frank Jr., the middle one, and I'm playing Glothar of the Hill People. I am a dwarven sorcerer. But a hill dwarf, right? Yes. So not a real dwarf. No. Breeder We've, of the fresh air. <laughs> We've established that one. You're a hill dwarf what? Uh, sorcerer. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, that's not going to go bad. Uh, Man <laughs> Fang, a.k.a. Frank... Uh, little Frank, who are you playing today? Snow White. Uh, John the Monk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know what? That'll be my nickname from now on. You guys are dwarves. I'll keep it there. Now Snow I'm Snow White. Take that. And I, are am you playing a, I am playing a human, human monk. Very human monk. So you, you are the arrow catcher of the group since you're standing yeah. tall. Uh, it's also, my name is also John. I'm the most vanilla name out of everybody else. He is John, John the Monk. John the Monk. Wow. I come from I come from the West people. He comes monk. from the land down under. Oh, he's a Vegemite. Uh, <laughs> last but certainly not least, Jason. Jason, who are you playing today? And who uh, are I am I'm not Frank. And I am playing Verdant Loins, the mountain dwarf barbarian. Real dwarf. Oh, the only real dwarf with my green spiked hair and my tattoos and my kilt, I spit on the lowly, low hill dwarfs, the lowland dwarfs. Uh, I happen to be a mountain dwarf, bud. That's great. The other two are hill dwarfs. At least there's one real dwarf in here besides me. Ah, family. That's what holidays are all about. Gwendolyn, you are a druid. Did I catch that right? Gwendolyn's a barbarian. Oh, she's a barbarian too. Yeah, Sophia's a barbarian. Gotcha. Not a real barbarian. <laughs> I'm a <dwarf>. Yeah. <laughs> she's a poser barbarian because she's a real dwarf. Uh, this, this society didn't want your stink around and put you in a tunnel. Don't come knocking at me. Ah, uh, it's refreshing to see families game together because nothing bad ever happens. Uh, folks, uh, the world is at war. There are two feuding nations, and although uh, Duke Maystrong's group is gaining the edge, he wants to end it, and he wants to end it quick. And he has selected this group of five to go to Seal Point home of uh, Reginald the Red, uh, a very... Uh, mean and nasty usurper of the throne. They are to go in serendipitously, hiding out, catch Red, and kill Red. Very, very simple mission. Uh, the only problem is Seal Point is surrounded by precarious reefs, and it will require a waterborne approach, considering four of the five are dwarves, Shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, the main military is attacking just outside the tower and has hopefully drawn the majority of the fighters out. 
uh, leaving a very scant or skeletal crew behind, including Reginald the Red, who lets everybody else do his dirty fighting. Uh, you have been approached by Duke Maystrong, and he has offered you the assistance of one Nicholas the Conjurer, who will be joining you and will be casting Fog Cloud to hide your approach on the precarious rock situation. Uh, it is called Seal Point because there are a lot of seals that like to sun themselves on the rocks just off the shoreline. Uh, you have been uh, promised riches and land. Uh, if you are successful. He doesn't want a prisoner. He wants a head. Uh, everybody understand? You are getting two lackeys and Nicholas the Conjurer, who will be casting Fog Cloud. The lackeys will be guiding you in as best they can. Uh, no promises. They have never been here. Uh, who wants to be in the front of the boat and who wants to be at the back of the boat? I'll I will be at the front. Everybody else is in the middle. Verdant. Back. And the uh, I'd like to move towards the back. <laughs> I, I would also, I think I have a lot less health. Yeah, I yeah, think the barbarian. Point about Hildorf bravery yeah. stands. Yeah, uh huh. The princess should go in the back for protection. Gwendolyn's going to the front. Well, there you have it. You got a hill dwarf and a real dwarf <laughs> at the front. Uh, Nicholas the Conjurer happens to be a human in the arcane arts. And as you approach uh, on a seafaring vessel, a dinghy is tossed over the side, uh, rope netting is down. I need everybody to go ahead and give me an acrobatics check to make sure that you can Ooh. climb down a simple net before you fall into the water and drown. They, they threw Verdant off the side? <clears throat> Not yet. Oh, I heard a dinghy threw off the side. Oh, but I'm oh. I got a nine on my acrobatics check. I'm just saying. Into the water he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a 15. You're safe. Doing acrobatics? Yep. Eighteen for me and uh, the other dwarf. Seven plus twenty-one for the Ajeta monk. Uh, as you forego uh, hoofing it down the net, you hear a splash as Verdant Loins takes the quick route. Uh, Verdant, what kind of armor are you wearing? I don't wear armor. Oh, well, that's fortunate. Uh, you guys see Bob in the water now. Uh, give me a con check, Verdant. I did throw the dinghy in the water. 19 on my constitution. He's bobbing in the water. He's going to need a hand to get into the boat. Who wants to uh, lend a hand or an oar? I wouldn't soil my hand with a I'll give him my hand. Uh, the other three, uh, the lackeys and the conjurer, make it in okay. Uh, uh, is it Bubble or Buble? That's Buble. Okay, Michael. Uh, Buble and Verdant, go ahead and give me straight up D20s. Let's make sure that you... Grasp, or grasp hands and haul in. 16. Verdant. Five. <laughs> you get a splinter on the inside of your thigh as you are thrust aboard. So it begins. Take one hit point of damage. Uh, and you can take that uh, mountain dwarf toothpick out of your thigh as uh, time permits. Uh, the two lackeys and the magnificent Nicholas the Conjurer just shake their head. Uh, they, uh, you have not emboldened them with the confidence that this is going to be a successful mission. Uh, but they head off. Uh, far ahead on the coastline, you can see a vast army of Duke... Uh, May Strong, moving towards a tower perched out on a high precipice above the coastline. The two lackeys point out, we have to be careful. I need those in the front, Verdant and uh, Loth or Gwendolyn, to keep an eye out for the reefs, because uh, if we hit a reef, it's going to be a very short trip indeed. You are slated to head up to the uh, avalanche of rocks, climb up the rocks, there is a window 
that is almost unassailable. I mean, impossible to get to. Get to that window, get inside the tower, seek out your prey, and kill him. Uh, the two lackeys will wait, assuming they still have a boat, to take you back to the ship, uh, the SS Memorial Day. Uh, Nicholas the Conjurer, however, is going to cast Fog Cloud, making it exceptionally difficult for Verdant and Gwendolyn to go ahead and keep an eye out for reefs. So you two will be rolling at disadvantage as you head forward. Uh, stroke, stroke, stroke. Nicholas the Conjurer uses his arcane powers. And a thick mist comes in, obscuring vision from the peaks of the tower. Uh, Verdant, Gwendolyn, give me perception checks at disadvantage, please, as you seek out any reefs. 17. Ditto. Verdant and Gwendolyn both noticed the first set of reefs. And the men are listening to you, and they to one side uh, as best they can because their vision is completely obscured. Uh, let's do it again as you creep ever forward. 14. Give an answer. 21. Nice and loud. 21. You both spot a second set of reefs and you were able to zigzag back. So far, so good. Unfortunately, the fog cloud has obscured your vision entirely and you cannot see squat uh, in the form of the tower. Third set, go ahead and give me perception, please. <clears throat> Seven. 24. 24, I got a 24. Uh uh, Gwendolyn notices the reef. Verdant does not. Let's see if the rowers are able to move. They are not, and they strike the reef with a loud scraping noise, but no water is taken on uh, because Gwendolyn has saved the day thus far. Uh, I would like to blame Gwendolyn for the fact we hit the reef from the front enough. of the boat loudly. Uh, At least one hill dwarf would be able to see something, you blind old mountain dwarf. Uh, Buble, why don't you go ahead and roll a dex check for Nicholas the Conjurer to see if he maintains his balance. A one would just make my day. <laughs> Five? Sixteen. Oh, okay. Uh, Nicholas, yeah, I, I started to say I'm sorry I rolled better than that. Uh, Nicholas the Conjurer stumbles, but he manages to maintain his distance. A harsh string of profanity-laced rebukes are laden at the two oarsmen who grumble under their breath as the wizard has got an attitude. Uh, fourth and final reef check, Gwendolyn and Verdant. Seven. This is still a disadvantage, right? Two rolls? Yep. Yeah, okay. Number. 12. Uh, Verdant misses it again, but Gwendolyn catches it. Uh, Buble, give me another dex check as you scrape the crap out of the bottom of your boat. 10. <laughs> uh, Nicholas the Conjurer goes into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> another tirade of obscenities is lashed out at everybody on the boat. A few feet later, a horrendous screech is heard and you all lurch forward as you seem to have hit the rocky shoreline. Everybody give me a DC 12 dexterity or get pitched out of the boat. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Holy crap. I got, 12. I got 12. I got four. She got Gwen. I got four. Gwendolyn got four. four. I got nine. He got nine. I got 12. Buble, Verdant, Gwendolyn. Four hit points of damage as a rock attempts to relocate your noses. Uh, you are right at the edge of the fog cloud. Nicholas the Conjurer is flopping around in shallow water. And everybody give me a perception check. Wow, 
Wow, those 15. guys are cursed. Yep, 15. 15. I got 16. I got 16. What'd you get, honey? Sophie crushed it with a 19 plus 6. Everybody but Verdant hears a bell ringing and the sounds of individuals high atop the tower has spotted you. Uh, <laughs> next, you hear bloop, bloop. Bloop, as arrows begin to rain down on you and a few loud splashes of stonework as they are hurled over the edge of the tower at you. Uh, let's see. We'll start with Buble. Does a 12 get you? No. Uh, Gwendolyn? Does a nat 20 get you? <laughs> <laughs> Lothar. She's got a hell of one. Does a seven get you? No, thank God. John, an 18. No, uh, not at all. Wait, no, it does actually. Yes, I'm an idiot. And, and Verdant, <laughs> a 17. I got hit by a seven. Everybody who got hit, five hit points of damage already. Uh, since you are fifth level, each of you has a potion of extra healing and a potion of regular healing. Can I just eight plus that? Can I deflect it? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you, you have the ability to deflect it. Then yeah. I'm going to deflect it. Roll a die 20. I hope he does this and he misses it entirely. <laughs> he rolled a 20. I rolled a 20. Oh, easily. You just plink it right out of the air. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we get the boat and or Nicholas the Conjurer. We missed the boat entirely. Uh, 14 on Nicholas, I think, is going to come close, but we'll go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt as he slogs his way up towards the shoreline. Uh, Buble, Lothar, Gwendolyn, John, and Verdant, they're throwing crap at you. It is time to go. Uh, give me everybody perception check this. 15. 18. 16 for Sophie, natural 20 for me, 10 plus 21 for me. All five of you notice that there is a tremendous overhang on the tower above. So their ability to throw stuff at you is going to be limited. However, you're going to have to scale uh, a rock strewn landscape that kind of angles up towards the stonework tower. You're going to have to make it quick. Uh, what's everybody's movement speed, like 25 except for the monk? Yep, 25. 35, barbarian speed at fifth level. Nice. I think the monk's like 40, though. Yeah, starting base 40, right? Uh -huh. Mine's 25, this barbarian's 35, and Frankie's is like 40. Very good. Um, John, you're going to get one more whack at you. Uh, the barbarians are going to get two. And the other two are going to get three attacks. So we'll start off with John the Monk. Uh, I, I assume you're all going to charge up the incline and take San Juan Hill. Okay, John, uh, they're going to try and hit you with a stone. Seven. That's not going to make it. My two barbarians get two each. We'll start with Verdant. Uh, Twelve and a ten. And Gwendolyn. A five and a twelve. Uh, next up is Lothar for three of them. A six, an 18, and a seven. And finally, Buble. Buble. A one, a one, and a 16. Uh, 16 hits. Two ones and a 16. You guys take... Six hit points from getting a stone to the face. <laughs> uh, the good news is you have managed to crawl up the rocks uh, and there is a ridge line around this. Uh, you notice, well, first off, give me perception checks. So let's make sure you notice this. Hey, I don't see it. Natural 20. Seven. Yeah, seven does not see it. That rock to the head uncrossed my eyes. It was great. I got a 16. I got a 16. That'll work. Uh, 
I'm partially blind right this second. <laughs> it's the blood from your eyebrow. Yeah. Eight. So the 16 and the natural 20 notice as you're scampering up the rocks, uh, you notice a variety of uh, fish bones, uh, things that seals would eat, moss, things of that nature. As you reach this escarpment that is going to protect you from the falling rocks and arrows, you notice that it is just stones. No moss, no water, no bones, no nothing. Would you like to proceed? Or do you guys need to take a break and start swallowing potion? What, what is it, Mountain Dwarf? Why don't you carve me a set of stone steps? Is that not possible? I'm sorry. Is it below you? I'll just, why don't you just stand still long enough for me to step on your head to climb up the rest of this there, Hill Dwarf? Um, wow. I don't like the idea that there's absolutely nothing along this face after climbing over all this crud the whole way up. It's fine. Is there any kind of finger holds in this stone at all? Oh, yeah, it, it's it's definitive rock. It looks just like the stones that you climbed up so far, okay. only there's no debris. So something shaving it off. Can so, we somebody uh, step on it? Tell me what it is. Touch it. Yeah, well, go ahead and look or, look around and see if I can see anything that may be moving along this area of the escarpment here that, that may be cleaning or scraping it clean. I'll oh. take an investigation check for that, and I'm going to fling more stones at Nicholas the Conjurer in the boat. Uh, well, hey, 17. Um, 17? Uh, you notice and hear some rock-on-rock rock scraping and you notice, you start to begin to see an outline that does not match uh, the uh, tertiary formation of the stones. It appears as though something is either camouflaged or something is I, there. I want to cast, I've got uh, fine traps though, ready. Go ahead. Now what do I have to roll over for my spells? Uh, for fine traps, it it will find any normal trap, I believe. I think maybe even magical trap, uh, and it will glow for you. Uh, but there's nothing glowing. Nothing glowing. Nope. Horse poop. Well, I I think the monk should run up there. He's he's super fast. I'm not doing any of that. No, I'm not running up there. I don't know. I kind of agree with it. Let's see if I get <laughs> Nicholas the Conjurer this time. Oh, got the boat. <laughs> Nick, you know what? Nicholas the Conjurer is going to go ahead and use his last remaining fog cloud and obscure the vision of those atop of the tower. Uh, they will be shooting at him blind now. Uh, Verdant. Uh, you hear some more scraping, and the form that you thought you noticed comes into full view. And what, pray tell, is the form I thought I noticed? <laughs> uh, I'll take a nature check from everybody. Oh, good. That's one of my skills. Answers. No, that's... Not. 16. I'm glad to see the druid managed to pick up a nature check. <laughs> bite me. <laughs> that's always a good look when you see that that's a fumble for the one on uh, this side this one's a monks three are, monks are and known i'm a 16 their, monks are known for their nature stuff apparently not lothar and buble you know what this is Gwendolyn and John, stop looking at Nicholas the Conjurer. It's not going to help him as you make faces at him. Uh, Lothar and Buble, this looks like a rather large earth elemental. And on cue, its rocky stone appendages raise up and begin to come down the mountain at you guys. Let's go with initiative. <laughs> Four. Verdant got 16. Got it. 23 on my right. 
or well, Sophie got 23, Gwendolyn I did. I have 21. What'd you roll? Plus four. Mm -hmm. what, what are we rolling for? Initiative. Initiative. Plus four to whatever you roll. I'm going Initiative. to try and kill you That's right here. Four. I got eight. John the Monk is not as quick in the mind or body. Gotcha. Buble, you're still muted. Yeah, couldn't get to go. I also have eight. Well, I got a four. Uh, we'll start with Gwendolyn, uh, the barbarian. Uh, somebody taps you on the shoulder. You and John turn around to look, and you see this enormous rock formation, galaxy quest kind of creature lumbering down the mountain at you. This is your first, well, <laughs> second, third challenge. Landing, getting shot at, and now something to attack. It's asking, what would you like to do? Would you like to attack? Run away! Run away! <laughs> attack it, young lady! Okay! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill 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 Attack with the great axe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll that die 20 again. Uh, it's a C is... I think it's 16. Plus it's 18. Attack. What's the next number next to it? So add that plus 7. 19. That is good enough to hit. Now you need to die 12. See that number eight right there? Roll that. And then you're going to add uh, plus four. Man, this thing is beefy. Yeah, that, that is. You rolled six. Six, so six points of damage. Six whole points of damage? Yeah. Uh, Lothar, 21. You're up. This thing is going to eat you for breakfast. <laughs> uh, man, I do not know how to play magic yet. <laughs> so, you dummy. I just don't know where the spell damage is and stuff like that. That's one of my problems. I want to shoot a fireball. Okay. I think that's D8, isn't it? It is. It's D8, but I don't remember how many. Uh, it's one, uh, but you can increase it in level. Yeah, it, well, that's what it's like when you hit level five, I think it's two die eight. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then you can upcast if you want, but you can just go with the two D8. You got to pay for the uh, sorcerer points for that. Uh, let's see here. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> roll again. So we hit. Oh, I got to roll to hit. I'm sorry. Uh, 16 plus seven. So we're well over there. Yep, 18 is your magic number. Yeah, so we hit plus uh, seven points, die one, and so another eight points of damage. Got it. Next up is the 16, Verdun, the real dwarf. The, the real dwarf, he screams obscenities at the, the hill dwarfs about let a, let a real dwarf get in there and fight. And he picks up his, his great axe, Molly, and charges into combat. Uh, he, he, yeah, rolled a 19 natural, uh, it? and then he did, uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 11 points of damage. Nicely done. Show That's how, how real do dwarf it. does it. Uh, that brings us to John and Buble with eights. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> I'm going to try and hit it from behind. I'm going to try and get around it. You are a monk with 40. You can do that. Yep. All right. So you're behind it. Are you going to hit it? What are you hitting it with? Uh, quarter staff. Quarter staff. Yep. Okay. You got the same. The do well against the limestone. Plus six. 12 points. 12. He missed. What was it? 18 oh, hit? 18 to hit. Yeah, yeah, he missed. Uh, let's throw a few rocks off the top of the tower at the conjurer. Nope. Oh, you still got a boat, too. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So D10, I get two attacks. First attack is going after five. One, two, three, four, five. Lothar is getting the first attack. And two, Buble is getting the second attack. Uh, Buble. Uh, 15 plus nine, 24 and five plus nine, 14 against Lothar. Ow. Buble, Ow. I assume I hit you. 
How many against me again? No, no, no. That was to hit. I, I missed like 14. Oh, okay. Plus a 14 hits you. But Buble is in the um, low 20s, so I know I got him. Uh, 3D8 plus 5. Uh, do you have Band-Aids? You're going to need Band-Aids because this is going to hurt. <laughs> this is not going to hurt. Uh, 12 damage to Buble. Oh, the, uh, that's all? Oh, that's okay. I, that thought you said I, I thought you said I took 14. Uh, no, 14 plus 9 to hit you. Oh. Okay. Uh, top of the order, uh, 23. Gwendolyn the Mighty, you're up. Are you going to attack it again? Uh, no. You're not attacking it while we're all attacking it? You're a barbarian. That's your dang oh. job. <laughs> Okay, I'll I, like I just want to say the prejudice against hill dwarfs shines through once again. You know what? Why don't you go find a boat and fall off? Shut up. I don't know. I'm getting this, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting this Republican Democrat thing going in my head right now. 15 plus your attack of seven gives you 22. We hit. hit. Now you got to roll your damage, which is the 9 12. That's that two one. Yeah, roll that. And then you need to add four. That'd be 13. 13 damage. You gotta speak up, honey. Nicely done. Yeah, there's nobody shy in this game. <laughs> nobody, including your dad. Lothar, you're up with a 21. Same spell. Okay. Not rolling dice. Oh. I thought you were old school, man. Uh, Hill dwarf. Hill dwarf natural, natural 20 to hit okay uh you get to re-roll your damage die on a nat 20. Uh, it's already two so do i, I roll, roll both three. of them again no you get to roll three roll three yep. all right well it is six 12 and 19 points of damage nicely done uh next up for don or dan different game he takes another swing and hits it for seven points of damage a mighty swing because mighty dwarves swing. a mound dwarves hit with mighty swings yes and he's screaming at the 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 fireball that blinded him as he's swinging that's why the damage was low it sort of skimmed off the side because of the backflash from the fireball you better you're blinding me <laughs> you're blinding me boy let me do my damage buble and john you guys are up uh, plus four, 19. 19 hits. Look who's in the game. About time. Oh, I was going to throw that poison spray. <laughs> With everybody standing around it. <laughs> I was debating. It was either that or the lightning. Oh, lightning. Definitely lightning. Seven points with a slash. Uh, next up is John the Monk. Miss? Swing and a miss. Uh, let's hit that stupid conjurer, shall we? Uh, nope. Uh, one and a seven for the boat, so not even remotely close. Uh, this time I will go after number two. Doesn't like <laughs> Druid. And number three does not like the Barbarian. So, Buble, uh, that's a 19 plus nine. I think it hits. He does not like you at all. Gwendolyn, uh, that is a five plus nine, 14. At least my rolls are pretty You know what? I'm going to melt into stone and go right inside this son of a bitch. I'll just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> no, noting the makeup of the party, I will no. continue to go. Uh, uh, eight, two, ten, five, fifteen damage this time. Ow! Top of the order, Gwendolyn with a swing and a miss of its mighty paw. Uh, you're up. I kill this thing, boys. Where I pull out the lightning bolt. Tell him what you'd like to do. I'll attack. Go ahead. Die twenty. Remember the number you got to add to it. 
That's correct. What'd you get? 13. Not enough. You ching off its stonework. Lothar, it's up to you. Even though it still has a significant amount of hit points. <laughs> All right. We are hitting with an 18. So we got that. And seven points of damage. Yeah, you're whittling it away. Uh, next up is Verdant. I'm just going to keep mildly mispronouncing it all day long, I think. <laughs> uh, I missed 17. Uh, that brings us to the eight brothers, Buble and John. Gonna use a... I'm going to use uh, I'm going to do the Fury of Blows. Good luck, Stonecutter. And it is Wave the Chicken your martial? Yeah, hit first. Die yeah. 20 to hit. Add plus six. You still miss. It's 18, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's still a two foot back, punching at it, missing every time. Um, I had a, a, yeah, I had 23 and I did six points. Nicely done. Uh, he can hear the Rocky theme in the background, and he's just beating the meat horribly. Uh, the meat. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, everybody go ahead and give me perception check to see if you can hear stuff going yeah, on. John would like to see the side point and do an action with the Fury of Blows. He gets two unarmed attacks. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead and ro roll. I think you got to roll to hit still, son. <laughs> you do. Of course I do. Let's see if I miss this time. Does he have to roll for each hit or just for each hit? Jesus, son, just roll the dice. There's a table right there. Hey, at least, at least he's using real dice. That's true. He hit with one. All right. Yeah. Uh, roll a dice six and add four to it. Nine. Nine. Points. Nine points of damage. John the Quarryman. Ooh, ha. Everybody give me your perception checks for seeing what you can do. I'm concentrating on combat. I, I didn't see anything. Yeah, I, I, well, there's a floor on the wall. I saw it. I, I'm still amazed by uh, the sparks of my fireball. I didn't see a damn thing. Gwendolyn and John? I got 21. Nine. She got eight. Mm -hmm. What is your six? Oh, nine. I'm sorry. John, with your monk like David Carradine ears, you hear the sounds of pitched battle on the far side of the tower. It appears as though the Duke's army has arrived and is trying to draw out the troops out of the tower to assist you in your mission. Let's hit that conjurer. Never going to hit him. Not even hit the boat. Okay. Uh, it's time for the. Elemental. First attack. Shocker. A one. <laughs> uh, and a nine. So I'm going after Buble and Verdant again. Uh, Buble, I'll switch dice out on you. We'll see if that'll help. That's a four plus nine. So 13 didn't get you, right? Verdant, a five plus nine. 14 that doesn't get you my that armor class is 13 oh so it does hit you yeah. and my armor class is 14 <laughs> wow i should have given you guys better armor uh da -da -da. oh uh two ones and a four uh six plus five 11 to both of you Woo. Uh, uh, i know what i'm doing this turn Top of the order, Gwendolyn. Say, those, those mountain dwarves don't really have a uh, very good AC. I'm just saying. just saying. They're just taking the hits for everybody. That's that much. If they want to yeah. stay in front of the bus while it's coming, you know. Uh, oh, he's going to attack. Stand on the line there, Hill Dwarf. We'll exchange some How slaps. How does the extra healing potion do? Heal. 2d8 plus four, no ones. And the regular one? 1d8 plus two. No ones. Okay. You're just going to drink them all, right? <laughs> no, I'm just going to drink probably, yeah, all of them. I, I've got one of each, right? Is that what you yes. said? Okay. Ooh, good roll. There's two. Plus seven. I get that back. 
Go ahead and roll your 12. You'll get a full thing down. Plus two. Oh, I love that dice. Yeah, that's a Look at your great axe and go over. Four plus four. Takes me back to three. No, four plus four. So it's eight. Eight points of damage. Nicely done. Damn. Uh, that brings us to Lothar. Sorry, a little tutorial. Uh, Everybody has to learn sometime. I'm just happy she wants to. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see here. 22 to hit. So we're good there. And goodness. <laughs> A mighty three points of fireball damage. So that's like full Ooh. Hildworth power, right? <laughs> Maximum efficiency. Uh, next up, Verdan. Taking the hits. No, 17. <laughs> nope. Uh, and the eight brothers, Buble and John. 20. Uh, natural. Natural? So yeah. they you get to re-roll your damage dice and oh then boy. add your modifiers. I might get seven points this time. <laughs> re-roll the dice with no modifier, right? Correct. And then you add your modifier to the total. So I got seven, five, six, and three, nine, and one's ten. Ten points. That's not bad. You're whittling it down. John the Monk. Swing and a miss. Come on. Let's hit that conjurer. He's building up for his next big blow. And the boat. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, all of you now hear what John is hearing. A mighty clash near the front of the tower is being engaged. Uh, black uh, smoke clouds are starting to fill. Clearly, there is the smell of fiery pitch. Uh, it sounds like a major league battle is underway. Let's go and see if I can... Try and hit Buble one more time. That's a three, so that's Gwendolyn. And that is an eight, which is John. You're kidding. Sorry, Buble, I can't get you this time. Uh, Gwendolyn, uh, nine plus nine, does an 18 get you? And John, nine plus nine, 18, does an 18 get you? Boom, sharing the love. Uh, 13 damage to both of you. The good news is uh, it's not packing the same wallop. Well, you guys wouldn't know that, but if Buble would have gotten hit, he would have realized it was starting to beat a little bit. Uh, Gwendolyn, it's time for some serious payback on this thing since it uh, took its liberties. Uh, nobody bothered to talk to it, so, you know, it could have been friendly, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do, right, Gwendolyn, you're up. Remember how I showed you? What's your how to do your rolls? It's mean a great axe. So, yeah, roll it. Seventeen. Yeah. We definitely hit. Yep. Here. Now you roll your damage dice, which is the die twelve. Yep. Plus. Ooh, max damage sixteen. Uh, Gwendolyn's mighty strike is enough to shatter it into small chips of stone. Uh, the guardian of the rocks has been defeated. Uh, now a short hop, skip, and a jump up will bring you to the wall or the window that you were supposed to enter. One last chance to give the conjurer a knock on the noggin. Huh. So, moving on. <laughs> Uh, everybody yeah. scampers up. Uh, the sounds of battle are in full swing on the far side of the tower. You do not see any rocks, missiles, or anything else coming up over the side. And as the monk reaches it first with his superior movement, uh, you see this beautiful stained glass of a knight with flowing red hair choking out a peasant. It's a beautiful stained glass window uh probably very valuable what would you like to do there smash it <laughs> smash it 
that's valuable loot that you guys are just destroying. Plus, yeah. a, a, an artisan probably took hours to create that master. Who cares? Just smash it. Uh, go ahead, uh, John. Smash it. If you get a one we'll or two, all night we ain't got time for him to try to smash something. I've seen him hit. Well, if it's a one or a two, he's gonna cut his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Seven plus six. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, John the Monk smashes uh, the red-headed warrior right in the skull, shattering the stained glass window. A quick strike, uh, a palm strike down uh, will shatter open an opening. However, you realize that uh, his uh, barbaric approach has probably alerted the cop inside as you smash apart the rest of the window you see a small ledge followed by a circular staircase it goes down into a large room or up onto what you believe is the third floor uh, if you knew how many floors there were here uh, John the monk you smash the window do you want to go in <laughs> I'll let you guys go first wants to go first the, the, the birds are kind of distracting me um I'll, I'll, i think i'll stand back for a little bit there could be seagull poop coming at you <laughs> i'll let you guys go first frank is very well known yeah. for people getting hit with animal poop in the games yep uh, i'm gonna right. step back Fe Fe feces frank is what they call me <laughs> since your brother won't man up you won't step through the window first i'm not trying to get killed Frank on through sure. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby girl. Be are, real uh, dwarf. Go first. Gwendolyn, are you wearing boots? Are you wearing bird stuff? No. She has just common clothes plus some mail, I think. She'll be wearing boots. Her name's not John McClain. She can jump in on uh, the landing, uh, do the hut, hut, hut. Who is uh, in second? Oh, I'm not letting some hill dwarf take all the glory. Too bad. I already did. <laughs> That's cannon fodder. Uh, Verdant uh, pile drives in with his flowing green mane uh, and his uh, sharp, uh, drunken accent as he's looking for the soccer match. Uh, Gwendolyn, Verdant, give me perception checks, please. I want to the perception, okay? There you go. 16. 10. 10. 10's good enough. On the left, uh, Gwendolyn notices two of the famed maroon knights uh, of your target. Uh, these are his personal bodyguards. On the right, there are three. So three are coming down, two are coming up. Uh, they are headed right for the landing as they charge forward, heavily armored and carrying great swords. They're great because their mother said they were great. Uh, I'll go with who's in third. Okay, John the Monk. Everybody give me their initiative rolls against the Maroon Knights, please. That's average. Plus three. 19. 14. 14. 20. Just say 20. 20. There you go. And I'll come in with a mighty 13. Okay. Buble. Uh, yeah, 12. Everybody beats me again. You're kidding. I rolled a 10. Uh, I got three people in. Those three people will attack uh, through their initiative. Then the knights will attack. And then if the last two want to jump in, they may attack at the end of the first round, followed by their normal initiative rolls. Can, so, I, now, can I throw that poison spray through the window? Yes, you can. Okay. If it's too low, you're going to give somebody a haircut. <laughs> uh, so I will take, uh, let's see, I will take uh, 13, 14. 14, Verdant, you had the highest roll of the three. You go ahead first. 
Uh, Maroon Knights have plate armor and they are AC 18. And just to clarify, at this point, everyone is converged on the landing at the same time, or are we a step ahead of them? You, you, Gwendolyn and John are on the landing. Buble and Lothar are coming in. But the Knights have reached the landing already, or are they still moving? One knight on the left with Gwendolyn, two knights have reached you. Okay. Third will come in next round, and a okay. second will come in next round for Gwendolyn. Okay, if we do kill them, do would I fit in the armor? No. No. You're not you're a monk. You're a monk, but you're human. You'd fit in the armor, but you'd lose a lot of benefits. Then probably not. No, I won't. Uh, unless you want to be stealthy and try and sneak in as a maroon knight clanking away. Uh, 20. Hit. And 11 points of damage. So you are number two. Three, four, and five. Uh, next one up was the 13, John the Monk. You are eligible to hit either the one on the left or one of the two on the right. I think I'll hit the one on the left. Okay. Looks like the Mountain Dwarf has to do it all himself. Always do. Just like always. It's going to be an extra serving of ale for you. Extra share of the loot. You can probably take uh, Nicholas the Conjurer's share. <laughs> Haul him in, boys. Eighteen. Eighteen is what you need. Plus four. <clears throat> Seven. Seven. Damage. Uh, you are going for the one on the left. That is number one. Gwendolyn. Mighty Gwendolyn, you're up. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to attack. One on the left or one on the right? Uh, she's closest to the one on the left. You're on the left, so go with the left. So I'm gonna go with the uh, one. All right. One. Yep, that you're bearing that big old great axe there, mighty dwarf killer. Plus eleven plus the great axe. That's right. Eighteen. Eighteen. Just enough. All right now, roll the die twelve. It has the eleven on it. There you go. And add what? Eleven plus. This is my bad shoulder. I can't aim over there. Right there. Yes. Fifteen. Speak up. Fifteen. Twenty-two total. Uh, very nice. Uh, let's see. The one on the left, odd Gwendolyn, uh, even John. It's going to be even John. Uh, and it's going to miss. Uh, not Unless a nine hits you. Uh, Verdant. That's a three, so does an eight hit you? Strangely. Uh, Buble, uh, Lothar, I assume you're shattering through the open stained glass window, which would have been a work of art in any Sistine Chapel, but now it is <laughs> a crumbled pile of colored glass. Nicely done. Yes. No regard. No regard for other people's property. Uh, Buble and Lothar, you're up. You can go to the one on the left, or two of them on the right. There will be three next round and two. You know what? A real dwarf better start tacking to the right, so I'll tack one on the right. Okay. And I found out it's two die 10, so I've been shorting myself on damage with that. Well, you are a hill dwarf, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, uh, is, there's plenty of, so how much room is there on this, on this landing? This is a beautiful landing. This is a palace-esque landing. Although it's really dark in here and gloomy and the uh, carbon scoring from the open braziers uh, have turned the walls black. Is there enough room for me to step between uh, Verdant and Lothar and throw a spell? Yep. Then I want to step between them and throw gusts of wind. Okay. Now, on the right, where they're at, those are the stairs going up. Right. Okay. Does that matter? You probably have done yeah, I, don't, I don't necessarily understand how these spells work. I know it's a blast of air in front of me. 
if, if the gust of wind connects with the guys coming up the stairs, most likely they're going to be out for or at least one round, if not two to three. Uh, up on the right, they'll just be blown back on their butts and they'll be out for a round. Okay, then I'll go to the left and do the same. There you okay. go. I didn't really understand quite how it worked. But... Uh, Lothar, how much did you do? Uh, I did 17 points of damage. Did you hit that the same one Verdant did? Whichever one would be closest to me. I don't know which one he hit. Okay, I got you. Uh, Buble, do you, I need a saving throw or do you have to hit? Uh, that's what I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking. Uh, DC 14. There are so two that's a saving throw, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's a two and a six. Uh <laughs> Gwendolyn uh, and John, your assailants are tumbling back asswards down the stairs, and they're going to go 20 feet, and they're going to take some damage. Uh, I actually threw a spell and didn't hurt my own party. Yeah, actually, you've saved them because those guys are going to be out of commission for two rounds. Uh, so you guys can focus on the other side. Uh, that is e the end of round one. Now we return back to initiative as rolled. Let us start with 20. Uh, and that is Gwendolyn. Yes. Okay, turning around and attacking, she says. So there are now three over on the right side. Yes. Remember your attack dice? <clears throat> the yep. clanking of an armored individual going down the stairs has to warm the cockles of your heart. Oh, Sophia, so my daughter. You'll be happy, Frank. Yes, <laughs> that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, have a roll of D10. Uh, Buble is one, two. She is three, four. Lothar is five, six. John is 7, 8, and Verdant will bring up the rear with a 9, 10. And she rolls a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lothar takes one to the back of the head. Uh, Gwendolyn, go ahead and roll your damage, and then cut it in oh, half. Damage. Friendly fire. Yes, that one. Ooh, 7, cut it in half. Oh, wait, do I got to add her bonus on there? Mm -hmm. Son of a... <laughs> It just went from seven to eleven. That's twelve. Five. Eleven. Twelve. Huh? Five plus seven is twelve. Oh, well, it's not five, honey. It's a four. <laughs> I love you. I get. All right, it. so five points of damage. Five points of damage as he takes one in the head. So, uh, that brings us to the nineteen, John the monk. It's not Father's Day anymore. You take that hit. <laughs> John the Monk, what do you want I to just do? I want to point out that the Hill Dwarf was arguing to increase the damage to her compatriot. That's it, true. Of, that, is, that is a point of order, seconded. Is the knight not dead yet? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> facing the stairs? His what? Is he facing the stairs, like his back facing There's the stairs? No might. You have nope. to turn around to the other side now and fight the knights behind you because yours went blowing away. Grandpa blew him away with the thing for two rounds. You, you could do some cool flip over, spinny kick uh, CGI specialty and try and land on both of them at the bottom of the stairs. The finishing you. move. Yeah, I'm going to try and do that. Sure. Yes, I'm doing get, that. Get, get on the top rope and give a dive. And if he fumbles, is he going to kick his dad in the head? And let's, let's use acrobatics as your attack roll. You can hit one. With acrobatics, normally, if you want to hit both, you have to do one roll at disadvantage to see if you can hi kick them. <laughs> I roll a 16. Any addition, or is that it? That's with the addition. He rolled a 12 plus 4. You come to a landing on the stairs right next to him. So you missed next, again. next round, as they get up, uh, you will have advantage on them. But you get to attack them again. You can punch the air in front of their face next time. That's right. 
Uh, next up, I believe, is the 14. Verdant. Verdant. Verant. <laughs> I, I, I'm after laughing so hard watching the two hill dwarfs. I, I couldn't, I couldn't connect. Uh, that, that is fair. That happens. Uh, 13 Lothar, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta thing right, right here, right here. Not so much over here. here that's right. Here. Not here. 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 Uh, smells like ax. <laughs> Natural 20. Nice. And you roll your damage dice. All right, doing that. So that's six thirteen. And first one I see six thirteen twenty three. Yeah, same one that you hit before. Yes. Nicely done. Uh, almost dead. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Twelve, Buble. While Lothar's busy, you could probably poison spray him. <laughs> you know what? Heroes die. <laughs> I rolled a 17. At least I didn't fumble. Very close. Very close. Uh, the uh, two with John are starting to get up. Uh, the other three are going after. There's only four of you this time. So one will go after three, Lothar. One will go after Gwendolyn. And one will go after Verdan. <laughs> so Gwendolyn first. Uh, 10 plus five, does a 15 hit you? Lothar, 14 plus five, 19. And oh, that's 17 plus five on Verdan. <laughs> So Verdant and Lothar are taking the heat using the old murder hobo ink dice. Oh, they failed. Four plus three. Seven to Lothar, seven to Verdant. And that brings us to the top of the order again with the 20. Gwendolyn, you escaped certain doom last time. Return to attack. Do what you want. What I will do. attack. Are you going to attack Lothar this time, or are you going to go for one of the bad guys? Bad guys. Okay, it's just check. The two, yep. Come on, come on. I'm Can a hill dwarf actually tell who the bad guy is? Twenty-two. 22. Speak it up. Twenty-two. Damn that it. hits. It only takes eighteen to hit. Good roll. Plus four. Twelve. Twelve. So, are you hitting one that hasn't been hit, one that Lothar is hitting, or one that Verdant is hitting? You want to hit the same one as me, same one as I'll Uncle hit. Jason, or one on I'll your own? I'll get with Verdant. Okay. okay. Well, see, there is some love there. Uh, next up, 19, John. John, you will be able to attack one of them at advantage because they are still getting up on the attack. You want to... if you're attacking both of them you'll only get advantage on one of them you want to attack uh both of them or just one of them both of them all right roll die six or roll the roll so that's a natural what is that strange contraption 19 19 hits and your damage four four and where is it it's plus four. Eight damage on one. Do it. Does he have to roll again for the second one? Mm -hmm. Roll again. <laughs> 19 again. 19 again. And three plus your four. Seven damage this time. Nicely done. I had uh, to power up for my next attack. I'm sorry? I had to power up for my next attack. Okay, Mario. We got you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Verdant, did you miss or did I skip you? Haven't gone yet. Go ahead. I, I went out of order. Uh, 18 on the money. That hits. Uh, six points. 29. Nicely done. Uh, 12, Buble. Uh, 
I'm going to cast lightning bolt at the two that went rolling down the stairs. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Is there, there nobody went down or after him, did they? I didn't miss that. Give me a perception yeah. check. <laughs> What's that? Give me a perception check. You're getting your print check. 19. Uh, yes, John the Monk is down there with him. Okay, then I'm not going to throw a lightning bolt at him. Okay, that, that's. I'm going to go, darn it. Stupid, stupid human. Well, right. if you hit the ceiling above him, that's technically not hitting him per se. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need more, uh, more dumb ideas. <laughs> well, all right, all right. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, take a swing at the the other ones up top. Then, okay. You have the one on Gwendolyn. I'm sorry. You have the one on Lothar. You have the one on Verdant, and you have the one that hasn't been hit yet. Twenty-two. That'll hit one of them. Whichever one's closest to me, I, I have no idea. That's fair. Five points. Uh, oh, close. Very close. He's knocking. He's knocking at death's door. Uh, John, I am getting up, and next round I am going to beat you. Uh, for the three still alive on the right, Going for two, Gwendolyn, three, Lothar, and four, Verdant, same as last. Uh, Gwendolyn, 12 plus five, does a 17 get you? 17. Oh, Lothar, 13 total. And Verdant, uh, nat one, you will have advantage against him on your next strike if he is alive. Uh, in the meantime, Gwendolyn, why don't you absorb uh, eight hit points of damage as his blade cuts across your shoulder blade, bringing us to the top of the order. Gwendolyn, uh, you just got shanked by this uh, maroon knight. It's time for payback. I suggest hitting Lothar. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes, I will attack. All right. Well, you know the rules on attack. What's that or what? Lothar. That's me. He, he's suggesting me. Merely pointing out that she had very great success against you the last time she had. Yep. So now I got it takes 18 to hit. That hits. Damage. All right. Plus four. Two plus four is eight damage. Which one are you going for? The same one with uh, Verdant? <laughs> four is eight. Yeah, I four plus four. I'm sorry. Six damage, same one as before. Sorry. Uh, still alive. Uh, bringing us to the 19, John the Monk, who's using his invisibility technique. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can go invisible. Watch. You have two uh, opponents, and you will be rolling normally against both as they are up and rather irritated. You, 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 what, what is your plus? No, you didn't hit first I one. Hit. Go ahead and re-roll for your second one. There you go. You yeah, hit right. there. I'm hitting them. Three plus four. Seven damage on the second one. Uh, nicely done. And you know what? I, I skipped over Verdun again. <laughs> Keep going short one, huh? For human, I might add. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you, you I was it two. Where'd you go? That was just prejudicial because I rolled a nat 20 after you came back to me. Nice. Uh, for 11 points. That is enough to finish off your maroon knight uh da, 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 da. next up is 12 buble miss i miss 13 uh hey john time for a little payback <laughs> uh probably not 14 and 13 uh, there are only two left up on the high right, and they're going after number one, Buble, 
had enough of his crap. And number three, Lothar. So Buble, 10, and 17 against Lothar. They're lucky I almost unleashed that lightning bolt. I got hit. Uh, five plus five, ten damage to Lothar as the blade cuts deep. Cuts deep, I tell you. Uh, we start at the top of the order again with Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn had a runny nose, apparently. That's fine. Uh, we can move over to uh, the 19, John. Okay. Nope. Go, ahead. Go ahead, Gwendolyn. Come down the stairs and help your brother. Let him die. Okay. Yeah. yeah Frank said, die. "Let him die." I'm a, I'm, I'm a brave thing. I'll let him know. Oh, you're gonna attack the ones up here? Yeah. Okay, go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna attack. I don't care about you. the brother. Don't, your sister don't care about you. Uh, nope. You're so mean. Crap. You ain't attacking nothing. You dwarfs. You dwarfs. Throw the three. Not a fumble. Just a three. Uh, nineteen, John. Oh, you know what? I, I haven't been screwing it up because he got the nineteen. So. Yeah, but I got skipped last round. All right, I'm Did gonna. You? Yeah. Where am I at on the order? You are 13. So uh, I'll give you two attacks this time. I'm not worried about it. I just I just started questioning whether we're Well, your, yours is about dead. Yeah. Go ahead, Frank. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to attack both of them again. Okay. There you go. No, that's almost a fumble. It's a two. <laughs> roll again. The object is to roll higher than that. Ah, you missed again. Ah, why are you screaming? <laughs> That's really loud coming across these speakers. That, that brings us to Verdant. So uh, mine's dead, yeah? Yes. I was okay, so I have a pause in the battle. I see the, uh, the, the human monk, the way of the chicken down at the bottom of the stairs. Correct. Fighting two. Mm -hmm. And did I see him jump off to land on the two of them or attempt to? I don't think so because you were engaged with the other one. Oh, because that sounded really cool. It, it oh. was a really cool visual. I'm getting a whole Hong Kong fooey. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. I think I want to try. To, I'm going to charge down the stairs with my axe eye and try to leap off the stairs and land on the two, the two knights. Uh, let's go with the <laughs> acrobatics as your modifier. And if it's too low, you might be bowling for humans. <laughs> Net 20. Net 20. Uh, <laughs> buries it in the head of one of the knights. Uh, oh, if the damage is substantial, you might cut him in half. Because 18 one, points of damage. You cut him in half. <laughs> Uh, give me a straight up D20. Let's see if that mighty axe is embedded in the body. Yeah, Molly may be stuck. <laughs> it's going to take you around to dig out of the innards of that dude. But you know what? It was still an awesome attack. That uh, was epic. And you were just tall enough that you managed to miss that, that header there. Uh, John, the guy next to you just <laughs> but then uh, 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 now Lothar go ahead and uh, do him in twice since I passed over you last time alright who missed the first round nice uh, hell I missed both times wow you were shooting off in no man's land. It's the hill dwarf in you. Uh, Buble, you're up. Buble, you are never going to be cooler. Uh, 18. Camp, nailing that guy. Go ahead. That's, that's a yeah, no, I'm going to try. Five points. Hey, that is the uninjured one, by the way. Uh, so... Uh, John, there's just one courtesy of the real dwarf at uh, a four plus five is nine. Holy crap, my rolls are horrendous. Uh, we have three people up top that are eligible to be hit. Uh, three, that is Lothar, and a one, which is Gwendol or oh, which is Buble. That's, That's right. Me. Buble, welcome back to the fight. Buble. 
Nat 20 plus five. Lothar, five plus five. Uh, Buble, here comes the pain. Two, a four, and add five. So 11 hit points of damage as he said. Yeah, wow, my mom hits harder than that. Uh, speaking of moms, Gwendolyn, uh, you going to do something or are you just going to hang out and watch everybody pick the heavy fights? Um, I will attack. See your rolls. 15 to 7. 22. 22. That hits. Damage. Now you have the one with Lothar or you have the one that Buble is going after. 15. Do you want 15. to hit the one that's in front of me or the one in front of Grandpa? I will hit the one with you should hit his. Yeah, that would be a good choice so you stop shooting fireballs at everybody. Uh, Gwendolyn lops off the head of the Maroon Knight and it ka-ting, 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 er, 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 across the floor as that one falls uh, down. Uh, it goes all the way down. So now it is just... Did I go out of order again? No, I, I haven't gone yet. Okay. No, she's first. Oh, that's right. She is first. I'm an idiot. Uh, 19, John, uh, your one remaining one as Verdant is trying to shoulder Molly out of the corpse. Like uh, Thanksgiving gone bad. I'm going to try and still hit the guy. Try. While he's doing that, I, I hold up and go, oh, look, I found the wishbone. Uh, D12 against me. Uh, he missed. Eight. Six. Uh, no, I was going to give you a, a plus one on your next if you would have gotten the wishbone. But you didn't. That's a rib. You failed your medicine check. Uh, John missed. That brings us to the number 14. Verdant, uh, you free Molly from her uh, bone cage. Uh, moving to 13, uh, Lothar, you're up. Yours has just been uh, dropped one foot lower, and his lifeless corpse is pouring blood out onto the plateau that you were on. All right, well, I hit with a 23, so damage, 14 points of damage to the one that's still remaining. 19 with uh, Buble, and that brings us to Buble. You and Lothar are tag teaming this dude. But I have my mic unmuted. Two points of damage or two for your attack? No, two points of damage, I'm sorry. Okay. Whee! You're get you're getting my hopes up here. Oh, I know. Uh wow, we are just cruising through these fights now. Uh John, <laughs> you still haven't managed to kill your guy yet, have you? I'm doing my practice air punches. By the power of red. Thirteen Gaia. It's unmuted. Uh odd buble, even Lothar. Odd, Buble. Damn it. <laughs> five plus five. I'm going to have to get rid of these dice. Uh, wow. That is a no-go. Switch it up to the dark crystal ones. Uh. Top of the order, Gwendolyn. You're up, baby. Yep. Let's do some damage. You want to attack the one? I four? will attack the one. There you go. Give me a straight up D20 first. Yeah. That's a mighty three. You... Slip a little on the blood pouring out of the guy's neck. So, roll to attack at minus one. All right, roll. As you... <laughs> <laughs> now you add... Oh, him. hell. Don't roll a two. No, she rolled a three again, magically. So, she did not oh. hit. Yeah, Swing was... animus as she buries her axe into the sidewall. 19, John the Monk. John the Monk, you're up. Sorry, I was cutting a dog. Are are you gonna kill this guy or just hang out with him and? Well, I'm him. gonna kill him finally. I got a seventeen. There you go. Seven. Yeah, seventeen. Plus four. Plus I, don't think, I don't think you're gonna kill him though. Seven. Seven points. Seven points of damage. Yeah, you didn't kill him. You're dorking. Yeah. Uh, the good news is a real dwarf is present, 
Frida's weapon, Verdant, uh, do you want to help out this puny human who cannot match your feat of expertise? I will haul off and swing Molly in a circle and nail that sucker for eight more points of damage. That'll work. I, I just get the whole as you're flying off the stairs look. Uh, that brings us to 12, or no, I'm sorry, uh, Lothar. I'm doing a Hulkamania move, though. I want to, Nice. Yeah! That's what. I hear it. That's something he learned in a dwarf tossing contest he was in. That's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, 23 to hit. Damage is nine more points. Eh, you're paring him down. Uh, Buble. Miss. Stink on ice. <laughs> John, new die, new chance. Same old crap. 14 get you? Uh, the sole remaining one up top goes after Gwendolyn. Trying to hit 14, 14 again. You know what? I'm switching to the big red beauty. Uh, <laughs> top of the order, Gwendolyn, uh, the guy took a poke at you. You're up. What do you want to do? I'll tag him. All right, then. Let's do it. Hope I get something better than that. Oh, better than a three. That's yeah, you're in there. Better. 23. 23. There's just blood pouring all over this place. Now there's just bloody footprints everywhere. Plus four. Six. Good hit. Bad pain. Six points. Uh, you're going after five. Got it. Uh, the monk. John. My butt was hurting, so I had to do something. Did you have to drag yourself across? From <laughs> <laughs> roll. I got a visual on that one. Look, I finally hit him. No, no, no. You got to roll, not your dad roll for you. Why'd you say that? Because that's cheating. He had a nat 20 when I rolled it. He's got to roll his own damn dice. It's he missed. missed. That's a miss. Of again. Course. I got my one hit and I have to, I have to roll again. I have to roll a few times. He's got to miss. Why don't you roll your real dice? It, there it does. His real dice is dinging up his mother's table because they're so freaking heavy. These are made of metal and heavy. Who the hell bought them for him? I think Jay you did. No, it was either you or Jason did. I think it was Grandpa. That's why he's laughing. Yeah. I, I doesn't doesn't the knight get a free hit on on the monk because he's sitting there screwing around? I'm just saying. Now the, the, the DM's not speaking. Your mic's not coming through. It doesn't say you're muted, but we can't hear you. Yeah, there's uh, the mute button here, and then there's also a mute button on this. So. But no, he missed. He missed. Again, Does he Verdot, get Verdot, would you like to show him how uh, martial weapons work on these guys? <laughs> I would like to, but in my demonstration, I don't actually connect because I'm saving the, the death blow for the, the monk. How noble of you. <laughs> uh, 13, Lothar. Lothar of the hill people. I am Lothar. Got canceled after two episodes. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and I just shot some more fireworks off. Ooh, uh, Buble, you want to help these guys out? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a nat one or one damage? Uh, I wrote a natural one. Oh, okay. That doesn't include my modifier, but I don't think I'm supposed to, am I? You are a 1-2, yeah. Gwendolyn is 3-4, and Lothar is a 5-6. Go ahead and give me a D6 roll. Let's see which friend. Uh, that would be Gwendolyn. Four. <laughs> How much damage? Grandpa hit. Uh, two points. One, One point. point. One point. That's the least amount of damage she's taken in the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Big Red can hit John the Monk. 15 plus 5, dirty 20. Oh, yeah. Uh, up top. We're going after Gwendolyn. 18 plus 5, 23. <laughs> Big Red back in its sheath. I like Big Red. Uh, we're going to keep Big Red out. Oh, 8 plus 5. 13 hit points of damage to both of ya. 
Hi ya, hi ya. That's for screwing around and not yeah. killing me sooner. Yeah. Gwendolyn, start doing some damage or start taking some more damage. Yeah, because you're going to have to heal soon. You're going to have 44 I'm points I'm of all, damage. I'm almost half dead. Yeah. How many points of damage was it? 13? 13 for my You quit talking. So I'm attacking. Yep, each of you took 13. Yeah, you missed. I don't have to add that up to know you missed. You didn't fumble, but you didn't hit. 19, John the Monk. This guy's uh, obviously had enough of your crap, so he's going to take it out. Can I run back and heal up? Because I'm at almost like half health right now. Uh, you can disengage if you'd like. Uh, how long would it take me to heal? Well, do what do you have to heal with? He's got two potions. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, can, you can get about halfway up the stairs and start chugging a potion. I'll give you that. Because as we all know, the real dwarf's going to go ahead and end this fight. Yeah, I'm going to do that before I die. Okay, that's fair. Uh, pull back. Uh, one is 2d8. <laughs> the other one is 1d8 plus 2. So your choice. Uh, Verdun, go ahead and do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. How'd you pronounce that, Verdun? 12 point. Well, he's pronounced it a half dozen different ways. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call him Big V damage. next time. 12. <laughs> Yes, and I'm I'm vicious mockery as the coward disengages from combat because he he took a smack. Uh, John, as you, you as you start to quaff your potion, the blood from the slashing kill strike from Verdant uh, sprays you, and you are just speckled in red. But you can take your potion. Your guy is dead. Uh, up on the high end, we have thirteen <laughs> low. Sorry, were there 1d8 to push in? 1d8 plus 2, 2d8 plus 4, no ones. Okay. I would like to put in one vote for Verdoot. <laughs> well, right now he's he's Verdu because he's getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> Or don't might make a reappearance, but right now it's Verdu. Uh, Lothar, you're up. Your guy is knocking at death's door. He can see darkness. I see nothing. I shoot fireworks again. Buble, can you kill him? 19. That hits. Three points. That ain't going to kill him. Damn it. Uh, let's see what he does. Rock on. Uh, he's going after Lothar. Ah, I'm rolling the wrong die. Oh, that's okay. Uh, 15 plus five is a dirty 20. -hoo -hoo. 12 hit points of damage to Lothar. Uh, top of the order, Gwendolyn. Uh, you really need to kill this guy. I'm going to attack. I got 12 hit points less. That's okay. The big bad guy's going to kill you all, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> 13 plus 7. Um, that object. 20. Damage. And then damage. That's not the damage dice. That's, cool. That's not, the damage dice. Sorry. Four. Five. Five. Plus. That's it. No. That's five, that's five points. No, plus that was here. the plus. Yeah. Nice. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. That was her. Then John's up, I think. Yep, John the monk. He was drinking potion. Are you gonna drink more potion? Uh, no, I'm gonna save him. Okay. Uh, you want to do anything since uh, Ver Dunn has uh done his job and killed both of your guys? Um, one with a very heroic strike. I mean, Ver did, wasn't it? Ver did. Ver did. I'm going to pat him on the back and say good job. You're up the stairs. You're going to what? I'm going to walk down, pat him on the back, say good job, and then I'm going to Okay, fair enough. Uh, that brings us to 14. For doing it. <laughs> For doing it was in mighty pain after all of his combat and ale, so he's quaffing some healing potion. Fair enough. Uh, on the bright spot... From here, you can hear the sounds of battle approaching the main entrance to the tower uh, behind you. So 
the army seems to be doing its job so you guys need to do yours uh next up is the 13 lothar you guys he's hurting yeah he is yeah i finally hit uh 14 oh no no 14 points of damage uh that is enough that finishes him off the maroon knights have all fallen there is blood everywhere uh courtesy of the headless knight uh oh. from gwendolyn uh the sounds of battle are outside quickly approaching you still have your task to do the question is do you guys want to search the floor that verduin it's on or go up the stairs to the top of the tower and see if your prey is there. I, I want to head up the stairs. Uh, I want to take a quick look around as I'm... <laughs> uh, you see a palace uh, dimly lit. Uh, brazers are full. Uh, char or coal or smoke scoring is on the walls. Uh, hideous banners. Uh, poorly stuffed animals are in here. This appears to be some kind of trophy room. Uh, however, D12 against me. Eight. Six. Uh, there is a shiny axe hanging oh. on the wall. Is it prettier than Molly? It is quite attractive. What's <laughs> its name? Uh, decorated in runes, it seems to be Bloodseeker. I want it. Blood Seeker. It's a two-headed axe. I have to take it. I have to take it. You notice that it is lighter than Molly uh, and moves quite easily. Almost one might say plus two. <gasps> oh, Molly. Molly was kind of a, she was a fatty. She was, she was, she wasn't a skinny girl. Well, it helped cleave somebody. So as Apparently she way, was more of a, more of a hill dwarf. <laughs> As Man. Bouvelet reaches the top, he notices a long corridor filled with pictures in frames along either side. Uh, so Verdant has discovered the trophy room. Bouvelet has discovered a museum-esque quality hallway with a set of ornate double doors at the far end. Bube, you're, you're, you're. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around, and pass that information back behind me. Okay. And so, start down the corridor. Okay. Uh, is everybody else going? I'm going up. Where are you guys doing? Uncle Jason's downstairs checking out the trophy room, picking up a, a new bloody battle axe. I'm gonna go down there. I'm with going Jason. upstairs with your grandfather. And cleaning the blood off my face it on should, these tapestries. It should be called homebreaker. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look around the trophy room as well. It looks like he's fine. Right. These two are down, and the, the two magic users are going up by themselves. Oh, that cannot go wrong at all. Uh, John the monk, e12 against me, please. E12. Here. There's there's d12. There you go. Eight. Eight. Uh, you see an unusual chain with spiky balls on it. It's not a flail per se, but it looks like some kind of monk weapon that might be useful if you know how to use it correctly. I'm hey, grab hey monkey balls. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, monkey balls. Monkey balls has a round hook followed by three independent chains ending in a spiky ball at each end. So this monkey ball has three balls. Each ball will do 1d8 and they are plus one to hit. On a crit fail, you will intertwine all three balls and spend one round eking it out. But at least you're hitting your friends. It's plus one for him to hit with monkey balls. Mm -hmm. And Gwendolyn, D12 against me, please. Yeah, D12. That's your hit dice, or your damage dice. My dice are horrible today. Well done, baby girl. Ah! You don't have to tell me about bad dice, brother. <laughs> Out of three. Uh, Gwendolyn, you find a shield with what looks like the Rolling Stone's tongue on it. <laughs> She doesn't know what that is. 
going. Grandpa has a lot of money. I'll show you. You'll have to Google it. Do you want to take it? You want the shield? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. The shield communicates with you telepathically and says, point me to an enemy and I will take care of the rest. Ooh. Cool. Up, up top with the meat and potatoes of the group, as you proceed down the hallway, you notice the paintings begin to taunt you in a rather minuscule-like attempt to hurt your opinion, such as druids are only good for the dirt they create after they die, and sorcerers, ooh, Eldritch Blast. Uh, you both need to give me DC 14 or start taking vicious mockery damage from the talky paintings. 16. It does not hurt your feelings at all. No, we we've taken take worse from Verdant. 16. Uh, you also passed the first round. Do you continue down the hallway of insults? Yes. I I'm, thinking, I'm thinking it might be a good time for a fireball down the hallway. Could. <laughs> light. Might need to light this room up a little bit. Gwendolyn and John and Verdant. Uh, do you want to head back up with your associates or admire each other's uh, stealing abilities? Well, I, I thought I'd do both as we're going up the stairs and really comment. Oh, monkey, you're, those balls are good. Do monkey balls. Those are those are nice looking monkey those balls. Are, those are monkey balls. Uh, Buble and Lothar, uh, are you going to stop and fireball or continue forward? I'm going to walk down the hall with my arms stretched out and both daggers in each hand, just scraping along the tapestries as I walk. Uh, again, priceless works of art destroyed by clumsy delvers. Who cares? Buble, Lothar, uh, there's another set of paintings there that want to have a chat with you. DC 14 versus Wisdom. 19. 18. You both might be deaf. We aren't really sure. Uh, the good news is if you were to cut these things, uh, your fellow associates behind you will only have to contend with the first set of paintings. Uh, as you continue forward, the third and final set of paintings talks to you about your beard care. Oh, oh, oh. We're going physical this time. Ooh, nine. That hurt. That uh, hurt. intelligence. Uh, wisdom. Oh, wisdom. Yep. Seventeen. Well, you pass. You don't care because you know no, your I beard don't. is fine. Uh, however, Lothar uh, feels personally assaulted. I'm, I might have a tear. To the tune of six hit points. But the good news is you've slashed all the paintings, but the first set, uh, and you have reached the ornate doors at the end. Verdant, uh, Gwendolyn, and John. Uh, the initial paintings decide to bark at you and decide that none of you are tall enough to be dealt with. So give me a DC 14 or versus wisdom die. or take some psychic damage. So it's plus 15. Wisdom. Wisdom is number Die 20, Frankie. Her aunt does not care. <laughs> 19. 19. Gwendolyn does not care. 16. For 16. John does not care. Uh, as you walk along, you see your two associates far into the hall in front of ornate doors, and you notice some jackass has carved up these priceless works of art like he's just gone right down. That'd be a hill dwarf. It's, it's in there. That's right. This smells like hill dwarf work. Uh, Buble, uh, Lothar, give me perception checks as you put your ear to the door. Well, perception 23 21 uh, you both hear the talk of at least three people behind the door uh, one of them is a very commanding voice the other two not so much they are more meek than the original well, hey, uh, Lothar open the doors and step back and I'll throw a lightning bolt at him oh okay and then after we do that, you open the doors and I'll throw a fireball in there. Okay. Fireball. Okay. I like this. Okay. 
Can, got, is, is there a keyhole in these doors or anything? Nope. No. Can't see in a crack through the crack in the doors or anything? This is quality stuff here, okay? Not everything's been touched by a hill dwarf yet. You know, I'm a, I'm a mountain dwarf, not a hill dwarf. I live in a cave. Oh, right. uh, this is quality right. stuff here. All right, I'm All cracking right. the doors. Buble, what's my saving throw? Uh, hang on, I got to look it up. Uh, 14. 17 for big bad guy, two and a six for the attendants. Those guys are going to suffer full damage and most likely be dead. Uh, what is half damage for the big bad guy? All right, just like, yeah. Also, you blow a huge hole in the exterior wall of the tower. Cool. Uh, let's see. Eight dice six. I knew oh, it was failed save. I gotta get some more dice so. out. Nah, just use these. That's uh, 11. And 17 is 28. And 6 is 34. Uh, that's a full, that's full damage. So, yep, 17. So you kill the two attendants, you blow the wall out. And you lightning bolt the big bad guy with long red flowing hair, who is now mad. Are you going to open a singe yes, shit? Did I put a little singe on that red? You put oh, a little yeah. singe on it. Uh, are you going to hold the door open so that Lothar can fireball? Fireball. You got I am. Uh... All right, eighteen to hit. Four, ten, fourteen. Uh, it's an AOE of effect, so I think I just need to make a save. 20. You didn't uh, ask 20, how it did. I need a what? Oh, uh, dex 15. I'm sorry. Okay. Ooh, seven. I don't think I get that much dex. Uh, give it to me. I'm eating the whole fireball. 27. That's it? Yeah, no, I got like a bunch of twos, threes, and ones. Wow. Uh, pitiful. Uh, your opponent is <laughs> not, a, not a happy man. It's time, time to run. <laughs> Reginald the Red uh, lumbers towards you. Uh, <laughs> Gwendolyn John Verdant, you're going to be one round behind. So everybody roll initiative, uh, but you three are out of... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Plus is twenty. I got sixteen. Fourteen. I got twenty-three. Let's go, friend. And Gwendolyn. I got eleven. Eleven, twenty-three. And what do you have? Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, uh, so let's see here. Buble is in, Ooh. and Lothar is in. Lothar with a 23. Dial it up. Uh, Reginald have, the Red is coming. Do I have enough space and time to shoot my last uh, fireball? Uh, you can. Okay, I'd like to do that then. Uh, 19 plus 2, 21 on his save, so he'll be taking half damage. As you're wrecking this tower. All right. 18, 20, 6, 29, 30 points. 15, uh, 59. Fair enough. Uh, I got a 16. I am going to do. <laughs> okay. That'll be interesting. Odd, even. Odd. Buble, give me a DC 13 Damn it. versus charisma. Charisma? <laughs> I got no charisma. <laughs> you Oops. <laughs> Oops. Well, I better. Well, let's say, am I supposed to roll over my charisma? Yes. Uh, hey, you're supposed to roll 13 or better with your charisma modifier. Let's see. So nine minus one is eight. You feel you feel yourself being lifted in midair and 
doing the running man only you aren't going anywhere uh with the strike of a very long blade he's going for lothar and that's an 18 plus 9 does a 27 hit you <laughs> just barely maybe uh no i'm 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 out cold are you because yeah, i'm gonna I'm going to do a lot of damage here. <laughs> uh, new round, uh, Buble, you are in midair being held up from Lord Vader. What would you like to do? Muted. Unmute. Uh, uh, well, let's see. So I'm able to use, still able to use my spells in this position. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. Nice choice. Okay. I'm What's trying to save? find out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I have to look it up here. In this is a second. Um, God burns around here are horrible. Uh, let's see. It is 2d8 thunder damage. If I fail my save, what am I saving against? Well, that's what I was trying to look up. I, I must want right. We're a druid, so it's wisdom, right? Probably. 16, so I'm probably going to save. So I will not be pushed back, uh, but I will take 2d8 halved. And a thunderous boom will be heard out to 300 feet. Uh, half at 13. Uh, 13 is what I rolled. So seven or no, six. Uh, got it. Uh, new round, Verdant, Gwendolyn, John, you come barreling towards the ornate doors that are probably ruined because the hill dwarf has touched them. And you notice the the motionless body of Lothar, who needs to give me a death save. Please. All right, what's the death save? I literally never had to do a death save yet. Ten or better is plus one. Plus three. On a die 20? Yep. <laughs> it was sitting there right on 16 and flopped over to a three. One fail. Three fails means you're dead. Three successes means you're upright or you're stabilized. Uh, we will start uh, round two with the 20. Uh, we're doing it. Uh, so can I communicate something as I start to rush in? Sure. You can scream. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna scream for the 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 barbarian uh, princess. To, uh, it's time if you're gonna get mad. Now's the time to do it. Rage, uh, rage against rage, the machine. <laughs> rage, rage against the dying of the light. So we're gonna do that as we charge. So I'm going into a barbarian rage as I charge in. Sure. And and I'm gonna scream at the monkey to take care of the this this half wit sorcerer on the ground. Monkey balls. Monkey balls. Take care of the sorcerer. Let let the men handle this. Whack! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not cool. All right. So natural natural twenty on the attack. Nice. Don't yeah. forget you get uh, plus two to damage as well. Seven, six, seventeen plus four. One plus two. Twenty twenty three points. Ouch. That's going to leave a mark. And I got a truck driver can. I don't know how. Uh, Lothar was the 23. Uh, Verdun was the 20. 
the 16s, me and John, John and I, you and I, baby cakes, you have been instructed by Verdant to take care of the sorcerer on the ground. You Boy. may interpret that any way you wish. If you want to put him out of his misery, go ahead. You know, he, he fought the good fight. He'll get a school named after him. Lothar's Lavoratory <laughs> or lavatory. Lothar's lavatory. Didn't even I'll, know. Try, I'll try and heal. Try. Um, all right. Let me hear. Give me a medicine check if you're going to try and stabilize him. Okay, well, I look at medicine. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> roll it. Just roll it. I believe the. He rolled a one. How do you roll a one? Yes! <laughs> Two fails. One success. Uh, moving up to Gwendolyn. <laughs> I'll write my own. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I'm a 16. I, I get to attack. Uh, Buble, I'm going to bash you into the ceiling and cause 1d6 damage. And who was that for? Buble, because he's still in telekinetic yeah. hold. Uh, and then I will attack... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, Gwendolyn, you have incurred the wrath, and I'm going to use Big Red. Uh, well, what's the shield do for? Yeah, the shield. Uh, it. Uh, well, when she, when she uses it, I'll tell you. Uh, does a fourteen hit you? No. No. Okay, uh, Gwendolyn, it is up to you. Use the shield. I, I, yeah. I think. Is it her attack or? It well, will be I told you in your mind that all you have to do is point it to the enemy and it'll take care of the rest. I do not see what that happens there. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 yeah. You only live once. Be better than a mountain boar. Yeah. The shield is a bonus action, so you will still get to do your normal attack, but the shield okay. uses vicious mockery and will just scream at the guy, red is dead, red is dead. Uh, his save, he fails his save, so he will take 2d4 damage from the Vicious Mockery and the Hurt Feelings. And he will take 5. So now you, now you can attack. I'm not very familiar on the whole rage thing yeah. and frenzy, so I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what to go with on that. That's okay. Jay's, uh, she... If she does it recklessly, she can attack at advantage. I believe raging just gives you the extra die, does it not, Jason? Yeah. Plus, so, plus two, plus two to um, strength based melee damage, advantage on strength checks and saves. And it, more importantly, it's resistance to all piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing damage. If I hit you, you'll probably take half. All right. Hit. Rage. Rage, girl. Okay. Rage. 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 Not screaming. Not screaming. We're screaming. Okay, attack. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You still got to attack. Eight. 18 plus seven. seven. That hits. That's good enough. Now roll your 12-sided. Roll 12. Okay, so that's eight plus two more because it's a strength-based weapon, correct? Mm -hmm. So she did eight plus two. Two. Yeah, it's ten. Ten. Got you. Uh, she's the eleven. It is top of the order. Uh, very important role here. Lothar, ten or better. Otherwise, you get a school. I fumble. Lothar is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I blame the hill dwarves. <laughs> uh, Verdant. Verdun it. But it was a human that pushed me to that final pump. That was two pumps in the row. One, two, one, two. Yeah, but the last one was yours, so it was your fault. <laughs> it's two from him. He, he was pretty sure that he had to apply pressure around the neck to stop the bleeding. <laughs> I. Do you know, I happen to notice out of the corner of my eye if, if Monkey is checking the pockets of the sorcerer? Not, not yet. He's still he's still putting the tourniquet around his throat, and he's just kind of tightening it up. <laughs> uh, how does this thing work? <laughs> I don't 
brain hole hurts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Verdant, you have a chance to be the hero that Lothar is not going to be today. Plus two, plus two, plus two. 12 points. And that is enough to kill Reginald the Red with 115 hit points of damage. Sadly, as you turn, you hear the <laughs> as Lothar expires posthumously. Outside, everybody can hear the battle raging because the wall is opened up. If you want to uh, and behold the usurper's head out the entrance, you can. Totally doing it. I'd like to say it was the first three shots that did almost all the work on that. Give, give me a d20 to make sure you don't cut off this little piggy for Dan. 19. Natural. Just pops that head right off. Wait, Lothar or, or the red? red <laughs> I don't know. Who are you going after? <laughs> you know what? You can hold them both up. This is what we do. <laughs> Friend, foe, it doesn't matter. This is the mountain dwarf way. <laughs> I'm still raging, so I may as well just cut them both off. Is there a son? Did Lothar have a son? Is there a son of Lothar? I want to make sure I take the head back for son of Lothar. Was this your dad? No, he was taller. Was this your dad? <laughs> uh, Verdant, you walk over, you behold the head of the usurper. Give me an intimidation check on the army below. They're not nice to your daddy. They are not intimidated. Nice. <laughs> uh, fortunately, you have you have succeeded. Uh, you may now make your escape. Will you be carrying the body of Lothar with you, or will you just kind of ee, 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 over to the side and throw him down, hopefully killing one of Reginald's men on the downfall? <laughs> Lothar, one more chance to kill somebody. <laughs> I'm going to search your room before I do anything else. Oh, you mean the room that has been lightning bolted and fireballed? Hell yeah, twice. man. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? There is a smattering of golden coins along the battlefield as you have blasted all of this treasure out the gaping yeah. hole in the side of well, the I'll go downstairs and search the other room. Uh, by the time you get downstairs, Verdant, do you want to give it another shot to scream out, Behold, the usurper is dead. I, Verdant of Loins, rule in his stead. Does 11 do it? 11's going to do it. Everybody's okay. demoralized. You didn't really polish it off with a large flourish or anything, but they figure somebody short like you can kill that guy, then fast growth. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, most of you have succeeded. <laughs> and, and to give credit where credit is due john does get half the kill on lothar <laughs> so that's xp right there XP. Yeah, well, that's fifth level yeah uh let's do final thoughts on this little scenario uh jason what'd you think uh okay that had some really classy moments in it. <laughs> There, there's the jumping, the burying the axe, the, <laughs> the throttling the old man. <laughs> it had it all. The only thing missing was love. It was. It was perfect. That was great. Thank you, Frank. Uh, man Fang, what'd you think? I thought it was great. You would. <laughs> you <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> because not such in my strong suit because I have to build up my punches. Well, that's true. And it took you forever to kill the knight. Yeah, it took me like five. Oh, weeks. wait a minute. You didn't kill any knights. Oh, no. <laughs> but but it, it only took him one roll to kill me. Well, almost two thirds of the way to kill you. Uh, Lothar, oh, wait, you're dead. Uh, <laughs> Frank, what did you think <laughs> aside from dying? <laughs> this game was great all the way up to the end. <laughs> uh, uh, Gwendolyn, welcome aboard. Uh, what did you think of your first experience in this unholy mess? Like, I thought it was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because you hit the old man and then he died, so there's no retribution. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank Sr., what'd you think? I had a ball. It was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. My rolls were a little better today. 
Not all of them. Not all of them. Uh, Frank, look at it this way. It was a Memorial Day special. Yeah. We will memorialize here. <laughs> here lies Lothar, choked to death by an ally. <laughs> you know, if he used real dice, he probably wouldn't have died so quick. <laughs> That's true. Uh, don't trust electronics. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Humble Wing, thanks for watching. We hope you had a good time. Uh, we're glad most of you are still alive. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, until next time, folks, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Be safe out there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>